I have a session with three MIDI tracks. You double click, you have your MIDI right here and you know, do whatever with that. If you hold down shift and highlight these three and then shift tab into your piano roll, you have all of those three MIDI tracks in one view. If you click it, you can go to all three and adjust it right there. Did you guys know about that? So this is similar to FL Studio's Ghost Notes. I really like this. You see we have all the colors, so it's pretty easy to know what track belongs to what. There's a button right here called Focus. And watch what happens when I click this. I'm gonna click it and make it full screen. Look at that. So now I can see this one track. Basically what Focus does is it allows me to focus on that one track. And if I unclick Focus and click on the yellow, click Focus, now I'm focused on the yellow track. Then unclick Focus, click on this blue, now I'm on the blue track. In terms of ghost notes, Ableton killed it. Yeah, that is a major cheat code in Ableton 11. 10 had it, but 11 added the focus mode. I think that just makes workflow real slick. Say you did your hi-hats on one track, your kick on another, and your snare on another track. Now you can see them all together, but they're all separate tracks. So if you want to do hi-hat rolls and all that kind of stuff, you can do it. Actually, that's an epiphany. I didn't even realize that. Anyways, that is Ghost Notes in Ableton. It's very similar to FL Studio, but I'm getting an idea now. Let's try something. Just for the hell of it, I want to try something. I'm going to load up a kick on this track. Ooh, I want to see if this works. Let's get this kick from Drums and Knock Volume 9. I'm just going to load this up in a simpler. Okay? Then I'm going to make another MIDI track. We're going to load up a snare. Just any snare. Let's go. From Drums and Knock 9, just the first snare. So now we get a snare, and then I'm going to make another MIDI track, and we're going to load up a hi-hat. Okay. How would this work in reality? I've never tried this. You guys see where I'm going with this? All right, now I'm going to load up a snare. Let's just duplicate that, and then a kick. All right, just something simple real quick. All right, so we're gonna recolor these just so it's easy to look at. Now check this out. If I hit Command J, okay, so we made a kick snare and hi-hat. Now, look at this. You guys see what's happening right now? Now I'm in piano roll and I can mess with that whole drum pattern and I can see what's what because it's different colors. So now, check this out. So I can adjust the whole pattern. This is kind of like an FL style workflow. That's kind of dope. I actually have never made a track that way, but what's cool about that is you can have separate tracks for each drum sound, but if you highlight them, now you have a piano roll where you can adjust the pitch of each sound individually. And you can go into focus mode, so if I want to adjust only the hi-hats, there I go. Only the snares, there I go. Only the kicks, there I go. And what's crazy about this, what's even doper about this than something like FL? FL has ghost notes, but it's not color coded as far as I'm aware. Maybe it is, I could be wrong about that. Focus mode and ghost notes combined, you can now create drum loops like this, it's pretty dope. Wow, my mind's kind of blown right now, I didn't even know you could do that. After you build the drums, you can just group them and process them like a drum rack too. So what you do is you just click the sound, whatever you want to create, and there you go. Like, so if I click that, I make a kick. If I click that, it makes a hi-hat. If I click that, it makes a snare. Pretty sick. So once I do that, I have everything separated by track. And then if I group that, I can add my effects to it. It's like I'm adding effects to a drum rack. But I have the benefit of having everything separated out, so I can start tweaking it. What if multiple sounds are on the same note? Then you just go to focus mode. Let's try it. Multiple sounds are on the same note, you just have to go into focus mode. Not bad, that's pretty cool. I don't know how often that would really happen too. Like usually multiple sounds probably wouldn't be on the same note, but either way, you just go to focus mode and clear it up. Yeah, that's a cheat code guys. I never really thought to do it that way, but ever since I just showed you guys that, it definitely will make for some interesting drum editing because you can do everything in one window now. Just makes it easier.